Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your boring old SRT grill like this and turn it into something like this RGB Halo Kits LED badge right here. So there's really a couple ways you can go about doing this. I personally took out the whole grill and replaced it. Since this was a 2016, I didn't have these snorkel grills right here. Now when you order this kit here, you get this SRT Hellcat badge. They have a bunch of different badges you can order from, but this one is the one I went with. I personally like this big Hellcat logo right here. Now if this is the badge you were replacing and weren't gonna go with the option of putting it into the lower grill down here, what you'd want to do is flip this around here and pop this out with these pop clips down here. It's a pretty simple install, but if you're like me and have the older model and you want the snorkel grills in there, you just do it all at once. I can give you a detailed video later about that. It's not too hard. It involves a lot of taking off this whole front bumper, which is pretty easy. There's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts you have to undo. Now for this install, this is what you'll receive. You get the LED product, which is this Hellcat badge right here. You get the wiring harness. So there's a wire that feeds all the way up inside your grill, run it all the way through, and then you run it down over here into your Bluetooth receiver. And then you want to ground it out down here to one of these nubs. It's pretty simple. And then you also want to connect it to this power supply right here. It's a fairly simple install, it's not too tricky. Like I said, unless you were like me and you had to replace your entire grill because you wanted to do that. Now I went with the option these do light up. I might end up switching to the RGB Halo Kits version of them where they have 250 color chasing modes. If you do decide to go the route I did, what you'll have to do is either take off your wheels or you will need to turn your wheels all the way to the right and to the left to be able to access these fenders. What you need to do is pull out these pop clips here. There's two 10 millimeter bolts up inside here that you need to remove. They're pretty tricky if you don't take off the wheels. I didn't, I just want But then up under your car as well, you have about 10 seven millimeter bolts that are under here. You need to remove all of those to take off the front bumper. When you go back up to the top here, there's also two that are, I'm sorry, there's one that's right up inside here. I don't know how well you can see that. It's pretty tricky to get out. Once you do it a couple times, you'll learn it's pretty easy. And same thing, you'll have one on this side as well. It's buried up in here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's where it's at. Once you do end up getting all those bolts off, it's a pretty simple install. You just pull this bumper off, make sure you have something to set it on, that way you're not scratching it all up. And your finished product will look something like this. It does have a bunch of different modes you can set it to. I personally use my phone, but you also do have the remote. You can change it to whatever you want. It's got a bunch of different cool features. We'll say watch running this badge at night. I've never personally been pulled over for it, but caught and might pull you over because technically you're not allowed to have lights on front of your car like this. That's a pretty simple install. I'm going to show you where you can order this badge. It's pretty nice. It has over 250 different LED modes that you can set it to. 